Valentine's, Valentine's Day, Saints. Day Saints! Today is Monday, February 14, 2022, and happy birthday over the weekend to Daniel Bell, Ashton Larson, and Gabrielle Yeager. And happy birthday today to Ashley Bendorf. The saint of the day today is St. Valentine. St. Valentine was a 3rd century Roman saint from the high Middle Ages. His saint's day has been associated with a tradition of courtly love. He is also the patron saint of tourney, epilepsy, and beekeepers. In St. Sports this week today, boys and girls varsity and JV basketball both face off against St. Michael's at St. Michael's. Varsity girls and varsity boys at 5.30 and JV girls are at 7. Friday, boys and girls varsity and JV basketball compete against Miege at home. Varsity and JV girls at 5.30 and varsity and JV boys at 7. The game is a pink out and you can buy a shirt from any basketball player. Also, Carter here has made a deal that if we sell 400 shirts as a school, then he will shave his head on Friday. Oh my goodness. So if you want to see this ginger get bald, buy a shirt. Applications for the National Social Studies Honor Society are being accepted now through March 9th. Scan the QR code outside room 127 in the senior hallway or see Mrs. Klaus for more information. United Not Divided Club will be meeting Tuesday in room 149, Mr. Jenner's room. Come learn about a project we're doing with Ruby Bridges and have some Valentine's Day treats. Now, here's Jasmine with an announcement for Black History Month. Good morning, Saints. I'm Jasmine. As you know, it is the month of February, which happens to be Black History Month. Black History Month was originally called Negro History Week and was started in 1926 by Dr. Carter G. Woodson, one of the first African Americans PhDs from Harvard University. Dr. Woodson chose mid-February for the week to celebrate the life of Frederick Douglass, the most famous African American activist of the 19th century. In 1976, President Gerald Ford officially recognized February as Black History Month an annual celebration of the achievements of African Americans and a time to recognize their central role in U.S. history while showing the significance of the African diaspora. diaspora. In honor of Black History Month, here is some information about the first black priest in the United States, Father Augustus Tolton. John Augustus Tolton was born without human rights in 1951, in 1851, sorry, enslaved in central Missouri. He and his family escaped to freedom in Illinois, where his father served in the Union Army. Augustus had been baptized Catholic and was now able to attend a Catholic school and receive sacraments. After graduating from Quincy College, he had to attend a seminary in Rome because no U.S. seminary would accept a black student in the 1870s. In Rome, he flourished in every aspect of his education and was ordained in 1886. Expecting to be sent to serve in Africa, he was instead assigned to return to Illinois to build up the faith in the African-American community near Chicago. When he attempted to enter local schools, he faced harassment and discrimination by students and their parents. But even in the face of blatant racism, his faith and goodness never faltered. He gave service by helping the poor and sick, feeding the hungry, and winning for souls, winning souls for God. His endless tire tireless and devoted work led many people of all races to Jesus Christ. There is a movement in the church to have good Father Gus Tolton canonized. Stay tuned in Halo this month for more Black History Month. Thank you, Jasmine. A reminder that tomorrow's attention and study hall will begin at 8.30 due to the 9.15 start. Your fellow saints will be presenting their winter play, Dearly Beloved, at 7 p.m. on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. In this play, a Texas Southern wedding goes hilariously off course in a fast-paced comedy romp about love, marriage, sisterhood, gospel music, and 300 pounds of good old Texas barbecue. Tickets are available in the Performing Arts section on our website, stasaints.net. I am so excited to see the play. I, I will be seeing Dearly Beloved. Track and field season is only two weeks away. Last year, the girls won state and the boys were second. Both teams are looking forward to the new season, and you can join the fun. Sign-ups are on the team website and QR codes posted around the building. Here's a short video to get you fired up.
Awesome video. Thank you, track and field. And congratulations to the forensics medalists from the Spring Hill Tournament. Brandon Haynes, sixth in dramatic. Rose Kindred, sixth in prose. Anna Schmier, sixth in humorous and fourth in prose. And Josephine Burrell, who won the first tournament she has ever entered in by taking first in poetry. Great job, JJ. On the menu today in the Saints Cafe, chicken parm and Alfredo noodles. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the fun fact of the day. Carter, did you know that a jar of Nutella sells every 2.5 seconds? Wow! Oh, but that's so much I Nutella! Just did not know that. Wow, wow, wow. Thanks for watching the Hello Morning Show. We're back with more for you tomorrow. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Carter. Signing off. Remember, Remember stay, stay classy, classy saints, and create while, while you're, you're here. here.